Hello my friends, welcome back to MTD CNC. Now, one of two things is happening, and they're probably both happening actually, is I'm getting older, and this industry is hopefully getting younger. That's why I got Jackson on camera today as well. We want to connect with, well, everyone of course, but we certainly want to connect with an audience that's a younger generation and get them excited about manufacturing as well. Jackson, from my understanding, from some of my friends out here, is a brilliant young man, set up the machine behind us, has a whole lot of interesting conversation, and I'm excited to be here with Jackson on on camera and he loves being here too don't even look at his face there's a smile we got him <laughs> smiling all right jackson manufacturing how did you get into this do you blame your dad or do you like it oh no i do actually rather enjoy it um i followed my dad footsteps in this growing up we had a like a little drill press in the uh in the garage and so that was kind of just the introduction into manufacturing and cutting metal and then you know i just decided that i wanted to follow in his footsteps so i got into a trade school you know halfway through high school and uh, you know, started out with manual lathes and manual milling machines, and then I got a job, you know, at a CNC machine shop. I worked there for about a year, and then you know, I just decided that you know, metal working was was exactly what I wanted to do. You know, Jackson, I, I guess unfortunately I'm considered the middle aged or older generation at this point, and we're really trying to do our very best to connect with the youth and say. We have an industry that you're going to enjoy, kind of like trust us at this point. How would you say would be the best way to connect with young folks like yourself? You said, I went to trade schools halfway through high school, but your dad was in the industry to be fair. How do we connect with some of the people out there that maybe don't even know this industry exists? Is it the video gamers? Is it the robotics folks? Is it the tinkerers on motorcycles? How do we connect? Well, so people who enjoy tinkering on stuff is certainly, uh, you know, a huge crowd in this. But, you know, you know, like for me, I just knew that, you know, I didn't want to go and get into books and studying in college and stuff. Um, so, you know, for like the kids that are not so book smart but are very hands-on, uh, this is a great opportunity for them to get into this. I wish I had known about this earlier. i got to be honest. I got kicked out of three colleges, Jackson. I really did. And I was always hands-on and not very book smart. So I'm leaving that for the audience right there. Now, to connect further... As someone who's been doing this for a little while, what do you think are some of your favorite aspects of this industry? Is it working on the machines? Is it turning a part that's a raw material into something that's worth something? I mean, Sugami America is known for the medical industry and putting pieces into our bodies to help us walk again and move again. Are, is this some of the, your favorite parts or have I completely missed it? No, so you're absolutely correct. Uh, some of my favorite parts of this uh, industry is definitely turning something uh, from nothing into something. Uh, simply as that and then you know helping people uh, it's generally like a, a, one of my favorite things about this industry you know working for this company we help people more ways than one as you said you know we, we work with medical stuff all the time um, so seeing stuff that helps people beyond actually just machining it is super cool I agree with you so much Jackson I'm happy you said that as well because I would make the discussion that a large pers a portion of our society even not just young people but generations of mine and older as well we look at a phone we look at a computer we look at our car we look at our planes but we don't really care how it was made as long as it works right but we get to see the inside scoop we get to see how these things are made and I'm with you Jackson when it comes to how I feel at the end of the day knowing that that person who couldn't walk can now walk the person who couldn't see can now see can't hear can now hear it really brings a lot of gratitude to what we do doesn't it yes it does yeah, I would agree with all of that. So we've gone over how you got into it. Your dad's a little bit involved. The fact that you enjoy what you're doing. The last thing I want to ask you is, a person as smart as yourself, that has so much ahead of you, would you ever consider starting your own machine shop? And if you did, what would you make? Well, I'm not sure that I could personally start my own machine shop. Um, but if I did, I would start out making little job shop parts, um, trying to find any sort of work that I could. I like that answer. If I was going to start my own, I don't know what I would make either, but it would be to invent something. So maybe that's why I'm stuck on camera doing marketing and not starting my own machine shop. Jackson, thank you for joining me. Thank you all for watching. I hope Jackson is connected with you. And if you want to know more about Sugami America or just connect with Jack Jackson himself, reach out anytime. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have, and we'll see you all again soon.